Greetings everyone, welcome back to yet another game commentary video with me, Kemze. Today we shall be chattering about Stronghold 3, made by Firefly Studios. But, before moving on, I got a report and inform you guys about the economic campaign and black stuff campaign, which I'm skipping, mainly because economic campaign I've not really done in the previous series, and the black stuff campaign I'm skipping because I want to move on to play different kind of games and record and upload them for you guys to see. However, we have done the tutorial and it was really informative for me, in my opinion, and it was great. Uh, however, I just missed a little bit of a finishing touch and a small detail which I will be informing guys is that, you know those whenever they just informed you like okay we need to start making woodcutters or we need to start making some apple farmers so press hammer or press apple or good and they just give you an, a flashing signs and all the sorts or where to place and source because okay we're not stupid blankly said sorry for that but you know for some new players it's a really uh you know big detail for them and it gives them a help up and assaults so it's just a finishing touch i guess and just a small detail not to be you know someone with high standards let's say that but apart from that if i want to also chat about the entire game especially with the military campaign it's been lovely especially with the how should i say cutscenes which had some lovely how sketches drafts of art in there and then just lovely voice acting even in the game and i loved it it was really great so should i move on with the um campaign it's uh i mean games it's graphics because in my opinion the graphics is inside any game is important as they are the core of it and the graphics in this game has been catchy because you know graphics are supposed to be catchy and giving an eye candy for your eyes and I can say it was present here. So was the music great? It has some lovely medieval kind of theme, vibe, or or the sorts. And I'm sinful for listening it when I'm walking or the sorts. <laughs> um, the voice acting as well with the units and the sorts are basically near the same from each of the uh, you know uh, struggled series. Though there has been a little bit of uh, you know. Swipping a swapping here and there and some different ones, which is really great and nice Furthermore, I have Not much else to say of course We all have some different opinions about it which really matter in my opinion be negative be positive be it just you know I don't care what but it was You know, they really matter and I've stated mine I shall also give this game a score as well. I always do from a scale between 1 to 10. I give it an 8 because, again, there is some kind of a feeling which I cannot explain about this game, but is really lacking. And the previous series were much nicer than this one, especially Stronger 2, because, you know, they had those tournaments in the swords, and this one didn't have those. And that was really great to earn crowns because here you basically, you know, try to earn the crowns by you know holding feasts and all but here just you know jousting and the swords no mercenaries too bad because they chose you know kind of you know the salt of middle eastern kind of things and you know there was not much of them present sure the music was present in the thing sure the sultan was present here but for the else i did not see anything else so that was really sad and uh, users map. Oh yeah, here we also have these free build kind of things. I do not see the skirmish, however. That's also sad to not see, because it would have been really funny in my opinion. But we also have the military uh, multiplayer kind of game, but no one is barely playing it, I guess. So that's also sad to see. But um. I guess people just prefer to play Stronghold 2, which I've also been recording. I've not sadly finished it as well, but um, yeah, let's just end our commentary video here as well, because we have basically finished talking about it, and uh, I'm basically rambling about different kind of things. But um, sorry for that and, and uh, taking your time. But I hope you guys agreed to this opinion and the thoughts, and 
maybe can come up with different things or point out why I have like different kind of feelings about this game than the previous series. Uh, write down in the comments box below or add me on Steam and we can have a chit chat about it. But as I always say, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new and wish to support it. Do you want to recommend something and record a game together that is possible as well? Just write down in the comments box below or add me on Steam and we can have a chit chat about it. Till then, I shall see you guys in my next video.